got a garden update for you today. As you can see, I've been working out here in the garden. I just, you know, it's been so warm here in South Carolina and we had some bad weather not too long ago and it kind of like toppled over some of our tomatoes that really weren't producing that much anyway. And so I decided it was time to take out the garden. So I did that yesterday and I got everything cleaned up pretty well. I'm letting my okra hang out for a while and look at these beautiful zinnias. I am so, I planted them late in the season, but I just, that's my favorite summer bloom. That's a flower. Um, I do love the okra blooms as well, but this is my favorite summer flower. And these are giant scissors. Oh, those are called loppers. Can you say lopper? Lopper. Loppers. So anyway, I got the garden mostly taken out and today, look at right here, this is the exact reason I left this basil. Look at this beautiful bee. There were lots of bees on there yesterday too. So I decided to leave it for the pollinators. Where's the basil? Where's the basil? And, and that's it. So anyway, I think I'm gonna plant a fall garden soon. Where's the basil? I've got to get on those plans and I will definitely Mom, keep y'all posted on that. This is the basil right here. Mm -hmm. it's, no, we're just leaving that for now. There's a bee! Oh, don't even play. We love the bees. I don't like bees. I don't like honeybees. We do love honeybees. Well, no, not the stigma. Well, like we don't like to get stung. That's why we leave them alone so they can do their job. We love the bees. Brandon and I got out and did some really good yard work today. Serena and Robbie helped us as well after we were done with homeschool. So we got a little bit of family yard work done, but I just wanted to show you that Serena and I worked really hard weeding out this bed all around the hostas and we got it nice and cleaned up. It's afternoon time. Let's see right now it's about five o'clock. So we got some harsh five o'clock sunshine coming around, but it just looks so nice and fresh out here. And I gave everything a good watering yesterday, perked up the garden nice. I need to do another watering this afternoon too. I like to wait until the sun goes behind so that more shadow comes across before I do watering out here. But anyway, the elderberry bush is looking lovely. I did notice that it seemed like I have some little nibbling going on here. Um, at the ends of some of these stems, there, there's like, something's been snacking on the new growth, I think. I don't know, I guess maybe deer come up here. I mean, we have a pretty good amount of woods behind our house, so maybe it's the deer. I don't know, probably. And then, not too much to update on back here, but did notice there's another fig up here in our fig tree. I ate the one that I saw from last week. It was so sweet and so delicious. It's really, really good. I'm really excited to have a fig tree. And then the blueberries are just, um, you know, those two over there don't have any blooms or berries. But this variety, this variety right here, called Blueberry Perpetua and it is supposed to fruit twice so um, the first fruit the first fruit will appear in midsummer and then the plant will flower and set fruit the second time in the fall dark green leaves turn to deep red in the winter making a beautiful year-long addition to any landscape that's one thing I love about blueberry bushes. And this one actually does have flowers on here. So the little blooms right here. And then there are actually a couple of berries. These here are light colored. A few more popping up over here. And then this one's actually blue. Robbie ate one um, earlier today, said it was delish. So anyway, that one is a new addition to our garden this year. And you know, so it's, it's a baby plant yet but I'm expecting it to do great things and let's see also this blackberry bush is 
the growth has been amazing this year. Look at how far out these branches have grown. And I need to do a little research about how to prune this plant because I'm just not sure the best way to do that. It didn't grow for like two years. I had it in a smaller pot. And then this year I put it in this larger pot and it's really just taken off. And I need to make a decision about this pomegranate where I'm gonna plant it because I tried to move it a little bit today and it's taking root through the bottom of this pot. So it's gotten significant growth um, this season as well. So it's new to the garden too. These soft little new growth leaves, so lovely. Anyway, so that's our fruit berry patch. And that is the garden update that I have for you today. Next up is fall garden planting. And I have not done a proper fall garden before. The closest that I've come to doing a fall garden is um, on my front porch. I have like a small raised bed and a, like a raised planter box. Last year I did plant some herbs and flowers there and they did okay. Um, but this year I would like to do some more. So if you have experience with a fall garden, I would love your input. Like seriously, some suggestions on plants that do really well, that produce a significant amount that makes it worth the time and effort. And, um, you know, I did read, I was reading online doing a, just a touch of research about it. And um, something that I read is that there are some gardeners who plant kale separately from their garden, like a little bit away from the garden as like sacrificial plants for the caterpillars that come that could like decimate the garden. And, um, you know, in hopes that the caterpillars will have the kale and leave the garden alone. Now, I do like kale, so that does make me kind of sad to think about, but maybe I'll plant a lot of kale and then just some of it will get eaten. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know about that at all, really. So anyway, if you have any tips or suggestions, I'm all ears. I'm like, I, like I, you know, like I've said before, I'm not a professional. I'm figuring this thing out. I'm taking you along with, and I do really enjoy gardening in our containers. And, you know, I just want to learn everything and have a really nice garden to um, help feed the family and, you know, just learn more about gardening in general. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for adding a dash of gratitude to your day. We'll see you on the next video.